five, let's go. Off to the swamp camp we go. Let's see if we explore some stuff along the way. Also, how far are we from the next level up? That's not too bad. Okay. Um, we've actually already tried exploring everything there, so let's just go the most direct way. Also, can I open that chest now? Without these guys trying to kill me. Hey, hands off! No. Okay. Well, never mind then. Oh, blood flies. Let's go. Kind of OP for them now. You can knock them around if you want. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to be nice. I mean, unless I have to, like you know, knock somebody out for a mission like I did with Aleph. If Aleph had just given me the key, I would not have had to knock him out. But I don't think a single chest is worth it. Unless that chest has two grapes, then um, I might think about it. If that chest has two bundles of grapes, then I might really have to think about it. Anyway. Bonk. Bonk. Grapes are in the most weird place you can think of. Okay. So I'm probably going to find them in some kind of sewer or something. We'll see. But I will find them eventually. I will not finish this game until I have found grapes. And finished Baloris or whatever his name is. I finished his quest. Uh, let's take out this one as well while we're here. I wonder if I'm strong enough now to take on snappers. Strong and skilled enough, I should say. Would be neat if I was, because then I could go up there. I'm gonna try. I'm also gonna save, just in case. But I wanna try.
Let's go. Going decently well, I would say. Yeah, I am trying to lure them single file, but that's not as easy as it sounds. That one just went bye bye. <laughs> but hey, he survived his fall. Now he's stalking down there. Okay. Can I start with you, please? Nice. We got a level up. Let's first check out the perimeter, see if there's anything over here. No. We are already further than we got last time. Like yesterday when we tried this, we just died horribly at this point, so. Oh, hi, where did you come from? Oh, did you climb all the way up again? You came back home. And straight back down again. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Poor snapper. Okay, that sounds very interesting. Hi, meat buck. Oh, more meat bucks. I do not like the sound of that. What is making those sounds? And how do I get in here? It's the next question. Do I have a scroll that can transform me into a meat bug or something? I do actually. Holy shit, I do. Okay, let's go. This is so cute. Oh my god. Look at us. We're adorable. What do you mean eventually, my guardian? We're already there. Look at us, boldly going where no meat pack has gone before. Uh, okay. Ah, 
how do I end this spell? Does it just wear off automatically? <laughs> Lanani is speedrunning. Oh, I'm guessing I'm way ahead of where I should be, am I? Enter key. Okay, cool. Nice. I guess the first thing we're going to do is actually open this gate. So that we don't have to waste another meat box scroll. No, 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 no. Uh. That was me being stupid. Yeah, I forgot that I need to change weapon. Let's do that again. But, uh, so basically, will I get here as part of the main story? And yes, good question, my guardian. Can me going here early break something down the line? Like, can it break another quest chain or something? You get there as part of the main story. Okay, um, then we're just leaving and we're just coming back later because then I don't, I'm not going to waste a scroll on this. And we're just going back for now. We're going to go downstairs to the uh, beach and we're going to see if we can do anything about those fire lizards. Uh, you know, I'm kind of tempted to find out if this is going to break anything just by going there early. <laughs> but um, also, I don't really want to. Like, I don't know. Like, on the one hand, I really want to know. On the other hand, um, on the other hand, I'm kind of scared. Like, this is my first... Uh, ah. Like, on, on the one hand, I... I would like to know, I would really like to break it. On the other hand, this is my first playthrough and I think that maybe the first playthrough is not the best time to break shit. <laughs> um, oh, I already went here. Okay. Where is, where was the way to the beach? Because I remember that was also nearby. And I want to try to go there again and see if now that I'm a little bit more fireproof, maybe the lizards won't instant kill me. And also, I guess now I can afford to put on a fire protection ring without uh, losing my sword. Over the bridge, past the tower. Thank you. Let's try that. There's a blood fly. Hello. We're gonna kill you while we're here. And a scavenger. Hi there. And what are you? You're a mole rat. You can also die. Not sure if those are wolves or orc dogs. Uh, we're not gonna go there.
I do wonder if we're now tough enough for the skeletons in the tower. Let's try that as well. Um, let's try the skeletons first. And then we'll try the fire lizards. And if we're going there, we're going to put our strength ring back on again. So this one. This one. All right, let's go. Safe game. Hi, come here. Yeah, still pretty hardcore, honestly. Oh, nice. I can I just glitched my way through the environment there. Neat. Um yes, yeah, so I think we're gonna leave the skeletons alone for now because they are still doing way too much damage to us. But hey, good XP. Yeah, I should probably practice that for a moment. The side attacks thing. Ah, okay. Alright. So yeah, skeleton tower, not yet a good idea. Let's see how we're doing with the lizards. Can I please get one lonely little lizard, not two? One, please. I said one, not three. Good grief. Still roasted. Okay. Fair. All right. We're not doing that then. Off to the swamp camp we go. What are you? Are you a wolf or are you an orc dog? You're a wolf. Let's go.
They even smoke you as a fire mage. Okay. <laughs> well, I am not too surprised and not too upset about it. There's a scavenger over there that we can take out, so that's good. Oh, blueberries that aren't blue. I know it's a translation error, but it's a translation error that will never stop being funny, honestly. <laughs> Worth quite a bit of XP too. I can, I would imagine like anything that one hit kills you, even when you're fully geared up, I would imagine that that would give you good XP. Yeah, you filthy rat. Oh, that's the shadow beast. Yeah, we're not messing with that one. No, 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 no. Nope. We're just going to the camp. Let's cool up some meat first while we're here. Wow, I have a lot of ungrilled meat. Holy moly. Alright. But you guys know what's one feature that I would really like to see in the new Gothic, in the Gothic remake when it comes out? Um, there's an old game from 1998, I believe. I'm not sure if any of you guys know it. It's called Lands of Lore. And in Lands of Lore 2, um, which is the one from 1998. Uh, you have a function on the map where you can basically put a pin on any place on the map and it will open a tiny little note into which you can type practically anything. So you would drag a pin icon and say put it in the swamp camp at the place where Kor Kalam is and then you would just write Kor Kalam. And then every time you open the map you just click the pin and it will show you what you wrote there. I think something like that would be really neat for gothic because as it is right now a lot of times i am just wondering wait where was this again where was that again how did i get to this person again i think having a pin system like that would be really neat because that makes it so that if you want to play immersively and not have any pins if you just want you know like the basic map you can do that but if you want to have the extra information you can basically put a pin everywhere for every single important npc and you will have an overview of where you're going. Um, I think that would be a really nice thing to implement. Um, just from my perspective as a player. Who has now been playing Gothic for like 20 hours. <laughs> and has had quite some frustration with finding stuff.
Okay, now I gotta find Cork Bomb again. I think he's over there, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Oh, over there. Almost. There was a time. Close. Do you have anything new for me, Lester? No. May the sleeper protect you. I want to trade. What do you want from me? Or do you want to sell something? Please give me all your ore. And I will give you so many swords. For, oh, wait. Let's get that away again. Um. I guess I should also get rid of some of this junk, honestly. I'm gonna keep 10 just in case I need it for something, for a quest or something like that. There we go. What do you want? I found eggs belonging to a crawler queen. I knew it. My vision was a sign. The queen's eggs must contain the strong secretion. Excellent. With it, I can create a potion to contact the sleeper. What about my reward? Oh, right. Thank you. I need <laughs> a tangible reward. Okay. Okay. What do you want? Um, chat help me is the weapon he will give me better than the uh, two-handed weapon I have right now if not I'm just gonna go with ore weapon is useless okay then we're going with the ore no Well, I, I don't need healing potions because I have enough healing items. I don't need mana because I'm not using magic. I guess the rune could be interesting depending on what kind of rune it is. But I don't know, like, is the rune something useful? Like the transform thing that will allow me to get somewhere or... Oh, no, is it not the weapon? Okay, we're taking the ore. Ore. Take this ore as a sign of gratitude from the entire Brotherhood. No worries, my guardian. Mm. Can we start invoking the sleeper now? No. I haven't found a method to charge the focus yet. We are missing the ancient knowledge about these artifacts. Do you mean to say I collected the eggs for nothing? No. Listen to me. There is an almanac which contains what we need to know. We bought the book off the fire mage Caristo from the old camp. However, it was stolen when they tried to bring it here from the old camp. I had charged Talas, a novice, with collecting the book for me, but he was robbed. He let me down, but I've given him another chance. He must get the stolen almanac back. Talk to him. He'll need any help he can get. Where can I find Talus? He's in the forecourt at the Temple Hill, trying to get people to help him. Who stole the almanac? Talas told me he was mugged by black goblins. 
Which sounds strange, but not impossible. What will I get for it? Have I not already proven my generosity to you? You will receive a just reward. Okay. I'll be seeing you. May the sleeper enlighten you. Let's go.